Hey, truck rides there at Go Hunt. Uh, I just want to walk you through what your Insider account can provide you. So, you've just signed up for your free 30 day trial. Uh, a lot of guys may not have drawn a permit, may not have had an opportunity to, to get a hunt secured and kind of have their schedule lined out for this coming up, this upcoming fall. Uh, and I just want to show you today how you can use your Insider account to find an opportunity to go hunting. For today, we're just gonna look over here in Filtering 2.0 and I'm gonna show you kind of the bread and butter of what it can do for you. And it's a really incredible tool. Today, just for the demo, I'm gonna show you uh, the state of Colorado. A lot of you might know that Colorado is a great state. They have the largest elk herd in the world. Uh, and I'm just gonna jump into Colorado and show you how to find a hunt. So if you click on Colorado, it's gonna bring up uh, the list of species that you might be interested in researching. Uh, I'm going to click on elk. You're going to see the map update with all the units in the state of Colorado. Uh, that's an interactive map that I could click on. I can zoom in and out. You can see all the different units. Uh, they get highlighted there as I hover over the top of them. And I'm going to touch on that here in a minute. Uh, over here on the right side of the page is a ton of tools and filters that I want to touch on. Uh, and I'm gonna show you how to use those to help you find a hunting opportunity. Specifically right now, we're talking about finding an over-the-counter opportunity. Uh, and so the first place that I always go when I'm looking for those types of hunts is down here to the season date, um, the season selector uh, drop-down menu. So if you click on this, you're gonna see all the different various hunts that you might wanna research and you'll see uh, next to the ones that are over the counter, you can see that that's identified here. So archery over the counter, second rifle over the counter, third rifle over the counter. So I know that those are three opportunities where I can simply walk into any Colorado Parks and Wildlife or sporting goods store or even online and just simply buy a permit, show up and go hunting. So I'm primarily a bow hunter. You have the bow hunt coming up uh, first out of the gate. So I'm gonna click on archery over the counter. Immediately, you're gonna see the map populate to just those units that offer over-the-counter archery hunting. So I have that. Uh, and then I'm gonna start looking at the other filters that are available to me to kind of start to whittle down to maybe some hunts and some areas that I might be interested in looking at further. So I can look at things like percentage of public land. I might drag this filter over and start to look at the units uh, that are, have the most public land. Uh, if you're simply looking for an opportunity to fill your over-the-counter permit, you might be interested in this harvest success filter. And I can use that as I drag that across. You know, you're gonna start to see these units filter down. There I'm down to maybe 10 units where my harvest success was 14% or better. If you're a guy that's looking for the opportunity to maximize your chance at a mature bull, uh, we have this trophy potential filter here at the top. If you scroll that across, you can see that this will further populate down. I can kind of fine tune it to help me find uh, the type of area that I'm looking for. So I've, I've found some units here. You know, I've got some stat statistics here in the middle that I can quickly reference. So, you know, unit 22, I can see the trophy potential. I can see the harvest success. I can see the bull to cow ratio, which can be extremely helpful. We've got this drop down menu here in the middle that you can use to sort the different hunts. Uh, you can sort by things like trophy potential, male to female ratio, public land percentage, uh, harvest success. So if I quickly want to look at the harvest success, I'm going to click on that and it's actually going to sort these units here in this middle and I can see the ones that have the highest success. So straight away, I can see this unit 70 you know, 20% harvest success, about 70% public land. It's got a pretty decent bull to cow ratio of 17 to 100. Pretty good trophy potential for an over-the-counter unit at 300 inches. Uh, I might want to know more about that unit. Uh, so every unit in every state that we cover has a unit profile. Uh, so I'm going to go over here and I'm going to click on this unit 70 and it's going to open up the unit profile. Uh, within that unit profile, there's a wealth of information that can kind of help you know if this is an area that you're interested in. So it's gonna give you a snapshot, kind of what that unit's about. You're gonna see a buzz section, which is gonna tell you some information about hunting pressure or you know, how to get a tag, anything that might be buzz or noteworthy uh, for that unit. Um, you're gonna see things like terrain descriptions. You're gonna see things like uh, elevation ranges, you know, low to high. You're gonna see a vegetation description. So, you know, if I'm looking for a bow hunt, I might be looking for an area that's got a lot of upper elevation, dark timber, you know, pine, aspen, you know, that, that type of information, you're gonna find that in the vegetation section and, and that might be interesting to you. I can see that this one's mostly composed of, 
uh, pinyon and juniper, so it's more open country, a lot of sage. Maybe that's not the type of area I'm looking for. Um, you know, some guys love that stuff, but you can really use that vegetation section to fine tune the, the area that you're looking for. So you're gonna see access information. That's gonna give you uh, the details about how to get into that unit, maybe some of the roads and trails that are the primary routes into that unit. You're gonna see information on camping and lodging. You're gonna see historical temperature and precip. You know, if you're hunting a late season hunt, for example, this precip and this temperature range might be really important to you to help you make the proper gear selections for the hunt that you're, you're trying to, to take on. So down here towards the bottom portion of this unit profile, it's gonna give me the information, a lot of, of what I'm, I'm looking for, specifically for this hunt, which is that archery over the counter hunt. Uh, I can read through the season description here. I can see the season dates. Uh, I can see here at the top that it says there's good hunting in the national forest, primarily on the east side. Um, it says typically the harvest success is better on private property. So I know that private property might come into play within this unit. I might want to do some further research on the land ownership, uh, whether it's, you know, high elevation. Uh, but yeah, it gives me just kind of a, a leg up, something to look for there, an added piece of information that can be handy. Uh, towards the bottom, I can see the number of hunters surveyed for this unit for each year for the last five years. And I can kind of look and see how many people may have hunted or you know, been surveyed at least. Uh, and then I can also look at the harvest success within this unit. Uh, I can see that since 2015, it's been trending up all the way from 12% uh, up to 20% last year. So there definitely seems to be some um, increase in, in opportunity within this unit to harvest a, a bull. So that's a, just a wealth of information within these unit profiles. And really I use these all the time to kind of help me pick a unit to hunt. So that's kind of how this uh, filtering system is designed to help you find a hunt. And I mean, right now is prime time for looking for those over the counter opportunities. Uh, if you didn't draw a tag, you're still looking for another hunt. This is a great tool. Like I said, this is a free 30 day trial opportunity to you. You can find a hunt and go hunting. Uh, if you guys have any questions about how this system works, if you have any questions about how to join the 30 day free trial, feel free to drop us a comment below. I'd be happy to get back to you and answer any questions that you have. We'd also appreciate it if you would like and subscribe to our channel. Um, just take this opportunity, guys. There's tons, tons of over-the-counter opportunities left out there. Don't stay home this fall. Find, sign up, get a membership, find a hunt, and go hunting this fall.